You've been studying game design for weeks, maybe even months. You have the basics of coding down, and now you just have a dream, a game that you want to make, and you don't know where to go. Well, introducing Godot. Beginner-friendly, simple yet scalable, chock full of user support and community tutorials, Godot is one of the best programs to level up your game design process. Let's talk about what sets Godot apart from the competition, what point you should switch to using Godot, and what Godot excels in. After these three sections, you should know exactly how to level up your game development process and journey. Let's get into it. What sets Godot apart from programs like, say, Unity or Unreal? Simplicity. Let's say you've been coding or learning the basics of game design for a few months and want to start your first game. Godot offers a simple learning experience and a low skill barrier to jump in right away. On top of that, there's hundreds of channels and tutorials devoted to the engine. If you jump immediately into Unity or Unreal, you have the pitfall of getting overwhelmed, or simply getting burnt out due to the sheer amount of skills you have to pick up. Godot offers a simple foothold, and while you may not be coding AAA-style games in them, it's a great place to make your first Vampire Slayers clone, or a simple text adventure game. Now, when should you jump into Godot and actually start making your game? I would recommend it after learning some code, or simple game design. If you need a place to start from scratch, I would recommend checking out my Pico 8 video, or my intro to game design video for beginners. In short though, I would recommend learning Python, or starting out with a bare bones game engine so you can learn the basics of coding before getting into the more complex types of game design. Start using Godot after you get the basics down, or you will overwhelm yourself. On the other hand though, if you have a decent amount of coding knowledge or even a game or two under your belt, I would recommend moving on to Unity or Unreal and not Godot. As great as Godot is for both experienced devs and beginners, it simply has less to offer than the other engines. Most 3D games can be made significantly better by more powerful engines, and specializing in Godot limits you if you want to go into the career field, as most companies don't use Godot in favor of the more complex and powerful engines. Godot should be a stepping stone, and unless you're doing game design as a hobby or sticking to 2D indie games, I'd recommend just using it to introduce yourself into game design and game coding. That being said, Godot excels in making 2D games, and while its 3D engine is less powerful than the competitors, both its 2D and 3D capabilities well meet the needs of beginners. On top of that, if you are interested in making your first 2D game, H.io provides free-to-use assets that you can use with tutorials to develop your first introduction into whatever game genre you prefer. If you need a good place to find tutorials, I would recommend checking out the channel Brackies. They're who I personally started my Godot journey with, and they do a fantastic job of simplifying the information and giving you the framework to build off of the tutorials they provide over just copying them down. I'll link them down in the description if you want to go check them out. Now that you have a decent understanding of when to use Godot, what to use it for, and where to start learning, I would like to give you a simple example of the potential Godot has. Buckshot Roulette. If you're unfamiliar, Buckshot Roulette is a game that took the internet by storm. A fairly simple premise, but deathly addicting. Garnering intense fame seemingly overnight, the project was made in Godot. Godot is capable of making some of the top games. Again, maybe not AAA level, but with enough creativity and ingenuity, the sky is the limit with Godot. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction into Godot. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment your experiences with Godot down in the comments. I'll link all resources and tutorials and Godot itself down in the description. Thank you.